Hello students, welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel IIT Zone Tutorial and I am Shubha Siza. So today we are going to discuss the video based on the EMI. In the last video I told you that I uh, will now continue with this particular chapter EMI electromagnetic induction because those who are presently in class 12 they are going to sit for their board as well as for J main in the month of January, J main in the month of January and board will be in the month of Feb I mean like starting from February end or uh, in March we can say. So it is important for the time is very much important for the class 12 appearing students. So I understanding that particular they need, uh, I would like to continue few 12 based topics discussion one by one. So coming to the video relation of based on EMI which will be the fifth video. So see the in the last video we were discussing about the possibility of induced current on a closed square loop when it was moving perpendicular to the magnetic field lines inside the magnetic field region. Our discussion was like this suppose if this is the region of magnetic field vector and we were discussing about the possibility of induced current on a square loop so long as the loops moves perpendicular to its edge perpendicular to this edge as well as perpendicular to the magnetic field so so long as this square loop whose side is of length l and resistance is r remains within the magnetic field region is there is any induced current so answer was no because so long as it is remaining inside the magnetic field region neither the area vector that is the magnitude of the cross sectional area changing nor the magnetic field induction B changes. So therefore for no change of B as well as for no change of A we could say that there is no possibility of the change of flux. But now question arises can there be an induced current in a next possible situation like this. For example, now the square loop is appearing like this. Initially the square loop is placed with its one edge, with its one edge along the edge of the magnetic field region and now if we pull the square loop, if I name this square loop with PQ mn whose side is of length l and resistance resistance of the loop is given to be r for example so once the square loop is pulled with velocity v moving away from the magnetic field region so obviously if you draw the next possible position of the square loop like this if you think that the square loop has moved to this position starting from this it has moved in the rightward direction by a distance v in one second so that means that means definitely we can say this is the this is the area that has come out of in, from the magnetic field region so the, if this is the portion, the shaded portion has come out from the magnetic field region means that means the area of the loop now inside the magnetic field region is this much. So definitely area is changing. So with the change of area of cross section through which the magnetic field vector passing through the square loop, if that changes then that means definitely the flux linked to the closed loop, the square loop is changing so because of the change of flux linked with the square loop the change of flux we know that change of flux can cause the creation of induced emf 
So once induced GMF is produced, so obviously the induced GMF produced can create the induced current. So our argument was this, that is it possible to have induced current in this square loop if it is pulled outside the magnetic field region? So answer is yes. Definitely the induced current can be produced on this square loop conductor as soon as it starts moving out of the magnetic field region because that process clearly shows that the change of the flux through the square loop though the square loop itself is not changing its area of cross section but the portion of the square loop inside the magnetic field region through which the magnetic lines of forces are passing through that is changing means the flux is changing so here we can see since the flux linked with the area can be written b into a has the area vector and magnetic field vector are <coughs> parallel so that means d phi by dt d phi by dt is definitely b into da dt so this rate of change of area this part can be written as da dt so if this part the area which is coming out of the magnetic field region will be identified as da dt that means that is b into l into v the length of the square loop is l and it is coming out in per second through a distance v which is the speed right so it is blv so therefore induced emf is mod of minus d phi by dt which is blv so this induced emf divided by the resistance so therefore induced current can be written induced gmf by resistance so that means it is blv by r so here here we can find the state of induced current now question arises how this induced current will run through the square loop either in clockwise or in anti clockwise so now one thing <coughs> one argument we can say that as soon as the current will be induced so the portion of the conductor portion of the conductor which remains in the magnetic field region at the instant when this induced current is produced so obviously there is a possibility of the magnetic force produced on the conducting wire which is in the magnetic field region so therefore we can write down magnetic force magnetic force on the conductor of side for example if we talk about the side mn so that magnetic force can be written as bil okay the induced current i produced in the square loop will develop the situation to have the magnetic force because we have studied in the previous chapter that is a magnetic field that whenever a current carrying conductor is found in magnetic field region it will experience the magnetic force which is bil so bil force now see as if if you want to move if you want to move out this with a constant velocity okay so if we move out move this with a constant velocity that means the we know the objective of the induced gmf it always tries to oppose the change of flux so change of flux means flux change is in decreasing order because the portion of the loop area in the magnetic field region is decreasing that means the number of flux through the decreasing area in magnetic field is also decreasing so therefore objective of this magnetic force will be to retard the outward motion of the loop so that the decrease in area of cross section in the magnetic field region can be opposed so that means the possibility of the magnetic force on this part has to be backward in direction because that is the only way by which you can resist the outward motion of the loop so once the magnetic force is, is acting in the backward direction 
So according to Fleming's left hand rule we can see if the force is in the backward direction in presence of magnetic field which is going inward. So current in Mn part should be going this way. So this is the direction of the induced current that means the order of the current will be the induced current order will be definitely clockwise. So the induced current this implies that induced current induced current will be clockwise in order okay so we had to make this discussion about the possibility of the induced current produced and what will be the direction so yes we have in this case the discussion comes like this as soon as the square loop is taken out of the magnetic field region we can see there is a decrease in portion of the area of the square loop in magnetic field region and that is allowing the gradually decrease in flux through the square loop so that decrease in flux will create the induced DMF produced and as a result of induced DMF will be produced there will be a consequence of induced currents found in that loop which is EMF by resistance and that induced current produced will generate the magnetic force on the part of the conductor which still remains in the magnetic field region and that force would like to retard the outward motion of the square loop so that the change of flux can be opposed. So this is the way we can understand about the development of the induced EMF and hence the induced current and hence the direction of the or the order of the current induced so that magnetic force can justify the objective of induced EMF produced okay so I hope uh, this was uh, definitely an interesting video so with this you can develop a good idea about the deciding how to uh, discuss how to reach the conclusion of about the induced current produced and uh, about its direction how to interpret it how to make the concept clear and if you learn your chapters your subject this way steadily going through one by one with the conceptual argument then I believe that you can definitely take your subject to that level where you can crack IITJ, NEET or JEE main any examination is concerned okay so best of luck thank you